Hey everybody! <laughs> Today's video is about my trip to the historical quarter in Kurasiki city. Kurasiki was an important hub for transporting rice across Japan during the Edo period, so they had to store the crop before it got shipped to big cities like Osaka and Edo. The city still has some canals and storehouses preserved for aesthetic appreciation and has designated an area of 21 hectares as the Kurasiki Bikan Historical Quarter. This trip took place on December 17, 2022, which was a rather cold, rainy Saturday, but there were still quite a number of visitors including myself and my buddy Ken. The Kura in the city's name means the storehouse for rice. Kurasiki Historical Quarter's characteristic storehouses are known to be Shirakabe Dozo. Shirakabe literally means white walls and Dozo means earthen storehouse. The walls of the Shirakabe Dozo are made from mud and their surface is thickly covered with a white coating material made from limestones. This is because the coating material, which is mostly calcium hydroxide, is good for preventing fire, and sometimes the coating is done as thickly as 30 centimeters. The black and white treatment on the wall is called namakokabe. This is so that the wall is even more resilient against fire, with the black parts being a bunch of tiles pasted on the walls, and again the white calcium hydroxide material filling the gaps between them. This is a costly treatment and it's rare to see so much of it done in such a condensed area like this, which bears testimony to its sustained wealthy past and the care people had for its security. I don't know what it was for exactly, but there was this kabuki door on our way and Ken had some fun with it. <laughs> Edoko is a term we use to describe people like Ken who is from Tokyo and digs its traditional cultures. Here is the Nakabashi Bridge which is located in the center of the historical quarter. Naka means center. Just after the bridge, there is the archaeological museum on the left and on the right is the public toilet. Nakabashi is an arch bridge, the Japanese term for which is Taiko Bashi. Taiko as in Taiko drum because the drum's body is arched. As we finished crossing the bridge, we saw a jindikisha up close. Jindikisha is a prototype, so to speak, for today's rickshaws being used across South Asia. That is, rickshaws more commonly known as rickshaw in English. But I much prefer calling it rickshaw not only because that's how people in Pakistan pronounce it, but also because the name is derived from its original Japanese name, jindikisha. Hey, I can be patriotic sometimes. Jindikisha literally means man-powered vehicle, and that's exactly what it is. You sit in a car drawn by a person. This is a weeping willow known as Shidare Yanagi in Japanese. Although we can't see much of the leaves here as it's winter now, the branches and branchlets of this tree are pendulous, meaning they hang down loosely. That's because the tree grows near water such as ponds, swamps, and canals, and therefore it receives light from both the sky above and the water below. Weeping willow originates in northern China where it's called Chiu Liu and spread to the Middle East through the Silk Road. It's erroneously called Babylon Willow sometimes and that's because of this Middle East migration. Liu is a common surname for the Chinese, Koreans, and the Japanese as well as the Vietnamese to a lesser extent. Yu Miri, for example, is a Korean novelist residing in Japan. The Yu Rin So House, with its iconic green roof tiles, was built by Magozaburo Ohara. He was the second president of the textile company Kurasiki Boseki, known internationally as Kurabo. Magozaburo was an extraordinary manager of the company he inherited, creating a new environment for the employees and significantly improving their working and living conditions. He was also the founder of today's Institute of Plant Science and Resources at Okayama University, as well as the Ohara Institute of Social Research at Hosei University. Furthermore, he opened the renowned Ohara Museum of Art in 1930, with its collection including Water Lilies by Monet and Delightful Land by Gauguin. The house just after the Imabashi Bridge is the former Ohara's residence, where the Ohara family used to live. With features like Kurasiki Goshi at the front and on the windows, it's a quintessential Kurasiki styled house. According to Kurasiki City's website, Kurasiki Goshi has the vertical wood strips, and each gap between them is filled with three smaller vertical strips. Here's another example, and there are many more, I believe. This shop, which comprises four houses and the alley, is dedicated to the denim products made in Kurasiki City. 
They are produced in the Kojima area, and the Kojima denim has become a famous specialty of the city, attracting patrons not only within Japan but also worldwide. In the 16th century, the southern part of Okayama Plain used to be an ocean with Kojima Island. But after a number of land reclamation projects, the Kojima Island finally became tied to the land, and the reclaimed land was suitable for growing cotton because of the salt it contained. In addition, Okayama Prefecture's low rainfall didn't encourage rice farming very much either, so cotton cultivation made a lot of sense. What's more, the Kojima region obviously has excellent access to water, which is essential for dyeing fabrics. Thus, a textile industry was born in the region, and it thrived in the 17th century. This eventually led to the very first production of the denim fabric in the country, in 1973. The main road where the bus is turning, that's Shirakabe Street, named after the white walls, remember? And the bridge we are crossing now is the Takasago Bridge. This is also where you have some parking lots nearby, so chances are it's the starting point of your walk. In case you need coffee here, there's a Tali's coffee right there. The denim shop we spoke about is two doors to the right from there, by the way. Kurashiki is sort of like a twin city to Okayama, the prefectural capital, which is 17 kilometers away. Okayama, by the way, is the name of both the prefecture and its biggest city. Okayama as a city has a population of 720,000 and Kurashiki 480,000. Okayama city has the famous Korakuen, one of the three great gardens of Japan, as well as the adjacent Okayama castle. Okayama prefecture is known as the land of sunshine, where there were only 88 rainy days per year on average during the 30 years from 1991 to 2020. This makes Okayama the sunniest prefecture in Japan, which by the way, leads me to feel rather unlucky having visited it in a weather like this. Okayama is also home to various versions of the Momotaro folk story, in which a hero travels to an island and defeats a demon with the help of a dog, a monkey, and a pheasant. The prefecture is also known for the former Shizutani school, whose buildings are designated as important cultural properties today. According to Shizutani.jp, it was built in 1670 and is the world's oldest common people's public school in existence today. The closest major international airport to Kurashiki is the Kansai International Airport, located in Osaka. To go from Kansai Airport to Kurashiki quickly, you can take the Haruka Express train from the airport, change to the Shinkansen train at Shin Osaka, and then change to one of the local trains from Okayama to Kurashiki. This I think is the most effortless and realistic way to do it to save time. There is also the Okayama Momotaro Airport, which by the way is named after the folklore hero. And the flights to this airport are available from Seoul's Incheon, Shanghai's Pudong, and Taiwan's Taoyuan airports. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you thought it was useful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on culture, travel, and music. Have a nice one. Bye.